All right, so I'll do a quick video of why I haven't done any videos lately. Because, like I said yesterday, things are taking forever. So, like I said, today I'm going to, I've chartered today, I forgot about. So, um, I'm going to try and get back over to the burger and fire up the generator and switch over that transformer and see if I can't get it running on there. That will verify that I have a transformer problem besides me getting my good meter that's on this boat and disconnecting everything and checking it that way as well, which I'll probably do as well. Um, so here I showed a video of getting the Hynotic system bled out up and running, everything's fine. But the problem is, is that the rudders are seized up. So I've gotten a chain fall and I've hooked it to one side and then I go down there and hook it to the other side and I'm very slowly taking this arm and moving it from one side to the other. And if you notice, they were straight the other day when I was shooting a video. Now it's here and I can get it to go over there. Slowly, I've got all the stuff, all the old grease cleaned out of the bearings. I've already greased this once. Um, I'm gonna get two more tubes and really clean, I've cleaned it up. I'm gonna sock the hell out of it with grease. Hopefully kind of break it free. So I don't know if it's inside the bearing or down in the sleeve of the boot right there, that's a, a rubber hose and four clamps. And then this this big shaft right here, this is actually the, the rudder right here, that goes all the way down is attached to the rudder. And that goes through another aluminum collar. Um, and then your packing is right there. So those two collars, you got your lower collar and your upper collar. And in between those is packing. In fact, there's packing right here. I'll show you how, what this is. So here's packing. And so this is like a beeswax. I don't know what the, really what the hell it's made out of, but it's squishy. Very hard to squish, but it's but it's squishy. And so we put a couple of rounds of, I'll leave that there because we can use that as backup. Um, we uh, put a couple of rounds of this in, in between uh, this one and this one. And then this one right here, that top one, get a better view. Back it out a little bit. Ugh. So this top one here squishes down. You can see that there's some gap right there. Pushes down into here, so the packing is inside of that. And then the top, those big bolts right there, we screw down, and that puts pressure on this packing, and that's what prevents water from coming up through through the rudder, or for that matter, the shaft. It's the same thing when you use uh, packing on shafts. And then you have dripless packings as well that doesn't have the, the dripless packings. Uh, dripless shafts that don't have the packing. So two different types of, of systems. This one obviously is a rudder system. It has packing, and that's what the packing looks like, and that's the size. So this is a, a pretty big, I think that's like half inch, half inch packing. So that's pretty pretty good size. But we also have like a three inch rudder here as well. So so that's the way that system works. So it really shouldn't be bound up underneath. So I'm hoping it's just the, uh, look like there was some water that was getting on top of the uh, the bearing here. That one's about the same. I've tried to use, I put the ram back and tried to use the ram. I've got 40 pounds of pressure and I can't move it. So 40 pounds isn't moving that and breaking it free. But I was able to, again, as you can see, I moved, that was straight. I put the chain fall on here and reefed it over in this direction. So I can move both of them. I just got to get them loose enough where we can then rehook it back up and then get the steering to, to make it move. So that's job for today before charter. Quick video. Um, this doesn't really happen. Never really seen it happen. But nonetheless, here we are. So this is the reason why I haven't posted lately because I just, I have no progress on any of the boats. Everything seems to be a struggle. It's again, it's over a hundred degrees, um, and it's even more in here, and just a humid hot box. But uh, so using the chain fall to um, move it back and forth, just going to break it loose, which we already have, and I can feel it getting getting looser. So that that's good. That means that we're getting less resistance. It's starting to work. But I'm going to get two more tubes of grease and really pack this thing in here now that I've got it all cleaned out, and uh, hopefully get this one moving, break this free reconnect this and then see if we can't get uh, rudders to go and then we're well on our way to moving on to finishing up the air conditioning so that's it for today if you guys have any comments please leave it down below like 
share, subscribe, all that crap. All that crap. No, sorry. It's another hot again. Please subscribe to our channel if you guys like this stuff. And again, if you guys want to see anything, um, we've got tons of stuff and tons of boats. So if you want me to, if you guys have a project and you have a question on it, put it down in the comments and um, I can walk you through it um, and try and help you out. So we always come upon different stuff every single day on boats, especially really old boats like this, but they're, they're kind of cool. They're, they're sort of walk back in time type of thing. But anyway, all right, I'm going to stop babbling because it's really, really hot and uh, delirious. And I'm going to get back to this. I'll talk to you guys soon.